Oh, here we go. What's this? You think you know this world? You know nothing. Oh, you shit. Think you know this world? There it is. You know nothing. It is in fighting. This, 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 this is so good. You know what I love about this? When you first get the shot of Lan, it's he's not looking <laughs> at his target that he's about to just kill in an instant like that. He's like stoic faced. He's looking over there, and all of a sudden, you can almost see for a split glimmer of a second his eyes light up just before he turns. Like, like that. <laughs> Oh, that is too good. He's like, I see you. And you're dead. And you're dead. <laughs> and these shots, oh, they're so good. These shots are so, so good. What I love about it as well, it's kind of two different shots within this five seconds of footage we've got again. It's basically... A panning of winter night, 100% this is winter night. And the first one is obviously, as I just explained, that brief glimmer of a second of not looking and looking and engaging and killing whatever his target is. But in that particular shot, it's in a stark contrast to the second shot because if you keep watching it, it's in extremely slow motion as like a wide pan of Lan's face, his features. It starts off with him from a side um, a side angle, side portion, whatever you want to call it. So you can get the side profile of the character. Obviously you can, as well, within that, you get to see the Hadori on his head. And of course, it's probably the, the best portion of the video where you get to see a, a glimmer of his uh, Asian-inspired outfit as well. I'm just going to pause the video here so I can go into more detail on Daniel's water outfit that he is seen wearing in the clip as I didn't give it much thought in my initial excitement and something like that should be given the attention it deserves. Right, so after doing some research, I believe that the design team behind Daniel's Warder outfit have taken inspiration from the Cedar Kingdom in South Korea during the 12th century. In that time period, an elite class of warriors known as the Harong wore gambesons or coat plate armour into battle over heavy plated armour because of the lack of mobility that was placed on warriors in battle with the Chinese incursions. As you can see from the photos on screen, there is quite a resemblance that you can make out between what Daniel is wearing and that of the traditional Harong warriors. Now, another thing that I've seen mentioned a lot since the release of this clip is where on earth is Lan's colour shifting cloak? Now, I think before anybody gets a bit too crazy over this, <laughs> it's there. It's going to be there in the show. But obviously, we're not seeing it right now in this particular clip. He's most likely seen what was coming, thrown the cloak off on the ground somewhere or indoors and run out to battle without it on so he doesn't get the cloak in his way when using any of the sword forms to kill off any of the Trollocs. So for all of those of you saying, where is the cloak? Why is there no cloak? Do not worry, it's going to be in there. I guarantee it. And then after that, once we go to the second shot within this clip obviously it's the action shot you're seeing Lan slashing away at a Trolloc and you can almost hear the <laughs> from the Trolloc so it's obvious both this clip and the one we got previously of Moraine are from the exact same location from the same episode from the same couple of shots I would presume and just in general this has to be my favorite one so far he just looks like Lan he acts like Lan, and that's all you want at the end of the day. He looks like he hasn't got a care in the world, even though he's in the middle of a, a small uh, skirmish or battle, whatever you want to call it. He's a bit... a bit dead, and then he's like... <laughs> but yeah, I, I love this one. This one is by far my most favourite one so far. Ooh-wee! 
After this second character reveal today, we're beginning to see a trend emerge that I believe with a lot of certainty will continue moving forward each time the official Wheel of Time social channels showcase a new character reveal each Wheel of Time Wednesday. Let's take the two examples that we currently have, the reveal of Moraine and Lan. Both of these 5 second reveals have taken place during winter night. Now, don't forget that they could have chosen any shots from any of the episodes to be used as the reveal for these two characters. They could have chosen to use a scene from Faldara to reveal Lan, and then they could have used a scene from Tar Valen to introduce Moraine as our first looks at these characters. But instead, we got our first look at them in the exact same part of the season, let alone the same moment in the same episode. This isn't a coincidence at all. Now, what does this all mean, and what does this mean for the future reveals I hear you ask? Well, to me, there is two possible directions these reveals are going to take. The first is that all the characters we will see revealed are going to be shots taken from precisely Winter Night. Or, secondly, we're going to see reveals happen in pairs, with each pairing being revealed in a different scene from the show. For example, both Lan and Moraine are going to be introduced together on the show in tandem, and so it was an obvious choice to have them both be revealed in 5 second clips using the same scenes. Now with most of the characters being in play during Winter Night, they could continue using shots from those scenes moving forward to keep continuity. This also helps to hold back showcasing any further footage from additional scenes in the season and instead save those for a later date when the trailer drops. But if they went the other route, I believe they would reveal characters in parents. This would entail revealing more shots than they have up till now, but it isn't as if they haven't done so already as we do have shots from inside Shadar the Goth where Matt finds the ruby encrusted dagger. So, if I was a betting man, I would guess that they will go with the first option of having all the reveals happen with shots from Winter Night. But, I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Well, that is the end of today's LAN reveal video. Hope you've all enjoyed it, please leave a like if you have, and subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you guys all in the next video.